Well, the original idea came after Anne and I were at a medical sociology meeting at Royal Holloway. And uh, as we were driving back from that meeting, uh, we stopped at a level crossing. And I remember that level crossing, uh, we said, well, we really ought to be collecting people's experiences of illness because Anne had had a mastectomy and learned a lot of things about breast cancer and that she never learned as a doctor. I'd had a knee replacement and I was very surprised by all the things I learned about that. And so that's that's when the idea came. We were uh, sitting there at a level crossing, waiting for the train, and that conversation happened. A light bulb moment. <laughs> yes, it was. And uh, then we talked about it, uh, tried to think how could we do that. And the obvious ways were to ask patients, but patients didn't uh, we didn't know how to ask them, really. <laughs> well, actually, it comes... Um, it's, it's really derived from um, psychotherapy and psychoanalysis. When the researcher shuts up and lets the person do the talking, and... Uh, um, and it's not talking as a patient, it's talking as a person. The indivisibility of patient and person is at the root of it. And we still haven't got away from that in medicine. People at the end of the bed talking about person who is there but isn't there. Yeah. There was a man who, who had, I think he had prostate cancer. And here, here he was impotent. And he, we talked about that. And uh, then he was really very reluctant to, to talk about that on... Mm. Uh, in public. He thought he didn't want his sons to know mm. and to come on it and so obviously we didn't use it. You were discovering the, the difficulties of, of encouraging people or asking people to divulge quite personal stories. Absolutely, yes, 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 yes. Mm. <clears throat> well there are some people who um, who but you don't mind, who, who are forthright and uh, if it'll help somebody else, then they'll do it, but uh, at a price, it's, a, it's difficult. So it depends how open one can be mm -hmm. and also <coughs> means that in the process, one learns more about being open oneself, mm. which is uh, useful and interesting. I mean, what what we hide and why is uh, very But it's part of being a complete person, isn't it? Mm. Uh, as you say, the, 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 the research is, grows out of it naturally. When you collect stuff like that, it's asking to have things done with it. 
What conclusions can you reach? What, what are the consequences? What ought to be done? So it's actually part of uh, health and a health service. So it's now called what it has become, which is health talk. <laughs>